Hello everyone, just going to show you guys a quick little video on how to uh, create a text file by pressing a button here. So right now I have this little file here that I create when I press this add button here. And if I go to Explorer, look at the file, there it is, just created. It takes a little while to show up in game. It has to create that meta uh, piece there before it'll show up. See, so once that, see if it shows up here. Anyway, we'll keep going here. There he goes. So you created this hello text meta file. Once that was created, it popped up in the game. So, all right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a button here to our main canvas. I'm gonna change the size here. Move it up to a new spot here. Change this to test. Increase the font size. Save. So the next thing we're going to do is create an empty. We'll just call it empty object test. And you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to go down to my scripts folder, create a C sharp script, call it the test script. I'm going to open that up. And what we're going to want to do is uh, add a couple things at the top here using system IO and using system.text. Get rid of all this stuff here. We'll just create a uh, public void function here, test function. So what we're going to do is do a system dot, um, what was that, oh, my bad, not system, stream writer, okay. Stream writer, there we go, and then we'll give it a name. So testing text, make sure you don't give it the same name as your function or anything like that, or your class for that matter. And then we'll set it equal to a new streamwriter. And inside of that, this is going to be the file location of where you'll be saving it. So in my assets folder, I created a, a folder inside of that called text files and that's where I'll be saving all of my text files and to access that you just type in assets slash text files slash and then we give it a name so test.text and then if we want to write something in it we just do um this text file dot write or sorry use the name of your stream writer here so testing text dot write equals something there 
then you'll close that make sure you oh, put this inside of the parentheses here delete that alright so we have our empty object here and we're gonna take our script that we created this test script and add that to the empty object then we have our test button here I'm just gonna rename this I'm just gonna drag your uh, empty object with the script attached to your button oh, no you're not gonna do that I'm sorry you're gonna first go down so you click on your uh, button in the hierarchy go down to on click and you'll drag that uh, see if I can get that back there it is click the plus sign and drag that empty object into that on click portion there click this no function go to your class there and select the function you created there so now we'll save that and run this so now when we press the button here again it takes a while so I'm just going to go to the <coughs> folder itself and there it is te text 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 and there's our uh, folder there with what we told it to write in there so eventually I'm going to be showing you guys what I have in this program is I have like a list of things that I'm adding to this drop down menu so you when I when you add something in what the purpose of it it's going to create a text file with that name on it and then you'll be able to add uh, different things to the text file so and eventually like the very end of it I'm gonna make it so you can like send it as a text message to your friends or something like that or an email but um, still got a ways to go on that and of course I'm gonna try to make it all look really cool and everything and I eventually will have this on Google Play but um, anyway I just wanted to show you that how you press a button and it creates a text uh, text file so thank you guys for watching and uh, have a great day thanks